Throughout the night, we crossed the Bransfield Strait before entering the Antarctic Sound. Admiralty Bay is located on King George Island and is the home to the Polish Arktowski base along with a helipad that is one of the main arrival points for scientists and explorers starting missions in Antarctica. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Just like I said, I'm Mikołaj Bolakowski. I'm the base commander at Arstowski and the leader of the 32nd Polish Antarctic Expedition. Our station is a year-round uh, station. It operates uh, throughout the, all the seasons. And it was established actually almost exactly 31 years ago. Tomorrow we're having our 31st birthday party. And it's a shame that you cannot attend. <laughs> anyway, so... For the last 31 years, the station been, has been operational constantly. Mm, it is run by the Department of uh, Antarctic Biology, Polish Academy of Sciences. Although its research is not only biology, there is a lot of geological research going on, there is glaciology, all sorts of elements of our environment are studied at Arstowski. I am a biologist, I work with elephant seals, so mm, my approach to, to the environment is a biological one, but like I said, a lot of very important discoveries have been made in the area of geology. Now, the way the station operates, every November the new expedition arrives, and uh, summer, as you might have heard, is the time of greatest activity of all the animals, and that includes the scientists. So there's much more of us in summer than there are in winter. This year there were 27 scientists uh, all together during the summer, and now most of them are already gone home. The last of the summer crew are leaving in about two days, and there will be just eight of us staying here for the winter. Uh, you probably wonder what are the conditions in winter. Well, you must remember that King George Island, being an island, is surrounded by ocean, which means that its climate is uh, under strong influence of the ocean, so the temperatures don't go very low. Actually, the coldest that I remember from my first winter here was minus 22 degrees centigrade. However, we have very, very strong winds, and the, the winds are the main factor that makes our life here sometimes quite difficult. And the fastest wind that was recorded was about two weeks ago. It was 76 meters a second. That's uh, more than 200, 200 miles an hour. That's much faster than Catherine that destroyed New Orleans. So, in, and this is the, the kind of wind that I, we have to deal with. This is the kind of wind that other animals also have to deal with. So if you were told during your lectures that penguins don't fly, this is not actually true because I saw a flying penguin, <laughs> but it was flying sideways. And the next thing that was flying was our roof from the station. So yes, it is an interesting life. We're not board here much time and we have to learn one thing that in Antarctica it's not us it's nature that rules nature decides whether we can do what we plan to do or not and I think that this is a very good lesson for us 
for all of us because um, even though your experience of Antarctica is completely different to ours, I'm sure that you appreciate how beautiful and how powerful it is. And I really wish that you remember this when you go back home that we are not the rulers, we are responsible for the world. But we are in every position to destroy it, so this, this place teaches us a very, very good lesson of the income. Thank you very much. And now, Captain, we want to say a word. I'd just like to thank the uh, scientists from the Tennessee to come out and uh, spend their time to uh, share their life and their work with us. Um, they're, giving, they're giving us an additional little insight into much of the work that goes on, not just at Tennessee, but also in places all over the entire continent. Carrying out valuable research into the significant wonderful 